So now we have the key and the uh, exit there working. Um, let's just check something real quick. Clear. Okay. Um, what we got to do is basically fix um, these guys' uh, movements. Okay. So uh, basically, it's kind of like the AI. Uh, we can't do anything too advanced because I'm not that great. Uh, usually, AI is extremely complicated um, thing. So I'm just going to take this enemy controller and double click on it and I'm at, uh, open it up here and we are basically going to go through and uh, make any fixes here so float um, point one uh, let's see I'm gonna go ahead and add another variable here called um, player object player object okay and that will be of the type game object object okay and we got the block tester we got is blocked i got an end game move weight add to weight um, and i'm going to do another variable called um uh block weight and that will be a float and i'm going to go ahead and set that to one so it's one second okay now, um, what I want to do is basically um, this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a function called awake. Awake. So that one gets calculated before the start function. And I am going to go ahead and take um, this stuff here. I'm going to put this into awake. Okay. So I'm just going to control X because that actually makes more sense to be in there. All right, it will it will work the same. It isn't going to change anything. The other thing I'm going to do here, though, is this. I'm going to do player um, trans. I'm sorry, player. Current position is equal to enemy transform position. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to do another thing called um, player object, and I'm going to set that equal to um, game object dot find and I'll explain why we're doing this in a second player so it's going to find an object called player and then I'm going to do something called player oops player transform oops uh, which I have right here and this would actually be lowercase player object um, player transform and that is going to be um, the player object dot get component um, dot the transform of the get component like that okay so the reason why we're doing this uh, specifically the way I have it set up right now is this uh, is um, basically uh, the enemy right now uh, underneath it here this open up come on uh, I have this uh, shark and right now, um, what I did is I drop and drag the player. But unfortunately, that won't always work, uh, the player object. So what I'm going to do is, um, because it's being brought in here, by having it find it, uh, if for some reason it loses the connection or something weird happens, um, it will automatically, like if I were to bring another shark in, I don't have to, like if I go into my prefabs here and I grab another shark, you'll see by default, um, it doesn't have that player transform. I have to click and drag player onto it, but I don't need to do that now because it's automatically going to search for it. So I don't have to manually put those in. Um, and that's why we're doing the find um, way method. So by doing it like this, it's going to look for, for it in the game by itself without having me manually drag it in for each one of those. So for some weird reason, I want to like instantiate them or, you know what I mean? Like want things to happen during real time. They'll automatically, as soon as they're made, find the player object. And that just makes it um, better for everyone. Okay. And then function start, we'll just keep uh, on move. So it'll, it'll go ahead and do move. And um, here we go. So um, this all looks fine. I'm mostly okay with that. Okay with that. Now what I'm going to do is after this one. I'm going to go ahead and add another yield. Um, wait for seconds. Wait for seconds. And then, and then I'm going to wait for the um, block weight. Okay. So block weight. 
Um, basically, the idea here is that if it gets blocked or when it runs through the next time, it's going to wait this certain amount based on this. So basically, between each move, um, it's going to add another bit of weight. Um, so then transfer another position, next position. This all looks fine. But I'm going to also add this part here. So else. And this is actually to keep it from getting stuck. Uh, I'm going to say is blocked. We're going to set that to false. Okay. So basically what happens up here is that this block tester, if you remember that, there's a, a block that will go in there and it turns on is blocked to make it blocked. But there's nothing to like turn it off. So basically, um, if it's not blocked, it's going to do this. But if it is blocked, it's going to turn it back off to not being blocked. Okay, so this says if it's not blocked, go ahead and run this code. If it's if it is blocked, which would be else, that's the other option, it's going to turn it being blocked back off. And that's just to make sure it doesn't like just get stuck and not not progress and keep moving. That's the basic idea. So pretty much we're just going to add this same bit of code to each one of these. So I'm going to take this yield, wait for seconds. Um, so I'm just going to grab this, control C. And I'm just going to add it after each one of these. Um, before the is blocked so I'm just gonna go right down the line so right here and it, it just helps because it'll move it slower um, it's a little bit easier and then I'm also going to add this um, else to each one of these as well okay so control C and right after this control V so this should look like this oops not like that like that and control V Okay, and after this one again, control V, all right, and um, so then I also need to fix this uh, function down here, so I'm going to turn this back on, and we're going to say if um, the collider, and if it's not, well actually we're going to say instead of if it's not the enemy, we're going to say if it is the player so basically if it runs into the player um, I want to just destroy the player okay um, and that would be good oh and also while it's going ahead and doing that I'm just gonna have it do the application dot load um, so that uh, uh, basically if because if the player dies doesn't really have me it's not gonna do me much good so I'm gonna do application dot load level and we're going to make it the main uh start okay so basically it'll it'll load the start level up if the character dies all right and that should make it a little bit cleaner and a little bit better i'm gonna go ahead and save that hope that i don't have any weird errors so let's see it's not saying anything so let's hope for the best here let's hit play and you can see that they're coming after me they're moving a bit slow so i'm gonna go ahead and um go to uh, enemy open this up and we'll grab the shark here and I'm gonna go ahead and take the move amount and do 0.25 make that a little bit more um, move weight I'm gonna make that one zero and leave block weight to one and we'll save that let's see if that makes them move a little bit faster okay good I don't I kind of want to be able to win this so I'm gonna go ahead and just there you go and I want it and good so now it's start and it will start again and um, theoretically see I forgot the key so it's not gonna go so I have to grab that key or otherwise it won't work and if I run into the shark it's there you go it kills me um, actually it didn't kill me you stupid shark all right I gotta fix that I don't know what's going on there um, let's see should be boop destroy other dot game object. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if function on trigger enter. Let's look at the shark here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I got a boss collider, but I don't have anything that's specifically a um, script. That's a okay. So this one's a trigger, but it's not attached to this one. So that causes a little bit of an issue. So I would need to actually add a separate collider maybe onto this block tester script actually take that chunk so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this bit of code here 
and I am going to um, save that, control C, and I'm gonna uh, open up the scripts and enemy block tester. And we'll go up here, and we're gonna say if, um, blah, blah, blah. so we're gonna do it like the, if it's not that, okay, and we'll also do um, if, oops, if, other oops other dot tag is um player with a capital p um it's gonna run this bit of code control v all right and it's going to go ahead and destroy okay this way the the tester will do it boop a doop a doop that should probably be fine and let's clear. Good. All right. And now if I go up there and it didn't really work. Let's see. Block tester. If other is equal to player. Let me see something real quick. Let me grab my player here. What's wrong? It's got player. Hmm. I'm not sure. Um, and let me just check this. All right, so it was a simple fix. Basically, um, I took uh, this if, which we added, I put it before if it's not the enemy tag. Um, because the thing is, what would happen is it would say, well, I'll undo it so you can kind of see. So what's going to happen is on this function, it says if it's not enemy tag, which obviously it wouldn't be unless it's, it is, then it's going to go ahead and say is blocked. And that's all it's going to do. It's gonna because this would be this would be true and it would just execute this. So it never executes this. But by taking this one, control X, and putting it up here and making that happen first, it will first test this. And it'll say, if it's player, then go ahead and destroy the player and load level. And then if this isn't true, let's say it's the tag isn't player, then it'll say, okay, well, is it the enemy tag? And if it says no, then it will do this. Um, so it's just a matter of order. Um, sometimes things as simple as that. So now if I hit play, um, you'll see if I go up to my shark here, it'll, I'll be dead and I can start and play again and, uh, grab my keys here and go about my business and I win. Yay. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And we are just going to go ahead and do a, um, a build one second. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and basically just build this. So it's going to be file, um, build settings, make sure I got this and this. Um, I'm just going to keep it on Windows PC and then I will just hit um, build and run. And I'm going to go to my assets. I'm sorry, not assets. I don't have a build in here. So I'm going to do a new folder and call it builds. And we'll call it um, Charlie. Charlatan, something like that, I think, and it will build it. it we'll compile my scripts, and then it will um, create the game. Hopefully, where's my cursor? It's like disappeared. Um, mm, all right, and then I'm just gonna do 12 by 720. So go like this, and yada yada yada. We'll start and. And now I have my my game, and yay, I win. Okay, and I hit quit, and it quits the game. All right, so there you go. And I'll just save that real quick, and that's the finishing of the game.